and uh, maybe pick up some lunch. Feels good so far.
this trans fluid under my feet on the pedals is sketchy. Very slippery. I miss you, power steering. One day, we will come back together. Alright, we've made it to Chipotle successfully. Coolant temp stall 180. 180 coolant temp. Car felt good. I think we're ready to hit the track. Unfortunately, all next week is supposed to rain like a good amount, so I don't know. Track's not looking great, nor is me doing anything outside. I feel like you northerners in the winter complaining about a little snow. I'm just here complaining about a little rain. Oh, my golden retrievers hate rain. Just out here listening to the beautiful music. It is definitely, it's a little different than a uh, six speed 2J, like a Supra with a full exhaust. This car sounds completely different. Every time I talk to somebody that's been around a lot of 2Js, they're like, that thing just sounds so weird. They're not wrong. Back from my drive, world's largest speed bump, staying out of the way. Unfortunately, as soon as I start the car and try to pull it down, he'll probably uh, come out to harass me, or basically come out and just bump into the car or something. I'll probably flip it. He's so freaking strong. All right, car did awesome. Didn't skip a beat the whole drive. Stayed at a nice, cool like 176 temp. Everything's good. Everything felt good, at least. I also didn't show you guys. Bronte traded in her Tiguan for this freaking sick Trailblazer RS. This thing's pretty cool. It's a really nice spec. It's got like carbon fiber and stuff. We did a full walk around on the second channel, Bulgetti Bunch. It's got like weird carbon fiber down here. Kind of crazy. But black top, white. This is really awesome. Stingray Chevrolet up in Bartow got us this thing and it's been great she loves it it's just a little three-cylinder turbo but it's super sporty nice interior so she's been loving it <clears throat> it's got all like the nice sport stuff but none of the uh sport race car headache i guess you would say i mean no stock car really would be a headache but you know it's cheap to maintain and it gets really good gas mileage but it looks super sporty so she's liking it Comment down below if you guys think I need to uh, get Bronte to take it down the drag strip. I'm really curious to see what it'll run. It'll probably be slow enough to where I could just sit with her and she could drive it down the drag strip. So let me know if you guys think we need to run it. Unfortunately, with that little motor making like 160 horsepower, me being in the passenger seat would probably slow it down a pretty good amount. Eh. Hey, Camaro, it's been a little while since I've seen you in the driveway. Back to the garage you go. Well, it's back in the garage. I even now have my remove before flight dealy bob on here. Looks pretty cool now. So happy to have it back, parked up, looking like it's ready to race again. Not like before where it was looking sad can't wait to get back to the track so hopefully we get some uh decent weather this coming week i can hit up a rental or a test and tune or something that's the goal but that'll do it for this video guys thanks for watching just a quick one i will see you next time keep it saucy